Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a very fun project for you and I am very excited because I never thought I'm gonna be able to build something like this. I can build anything but basically I saved uh, a lampshade and now because I saved it I have the plans with the rest of them in the house anyway last year i started to renovate the house i did all kind of projects paint the billy uh, and now i'm in the decor part and um, today i'm gonna teach you because now i know how to do it i'm gonna teach you how to save your lampshade so when i started to plan this I went and I bought this kind of plastic. It's like a big foil of, I don't know, one meter per 80 centimeter, something like this. I couldn't find transparent, but it's pretty much uh, doing the job. And I got few materials that I glued initially to see how the light is going through uh, to see if I like it. And for my lamp, I chose this one just because it has a tiny texture. It's not too dark and not too light. But I'm planning also to use this one, which is a, a wool material that I got from my mother-in-law. And it's a very old material, like maybe 50 years old. So. I don't know, I thought it's a, it's a nice story so I can have it in the house as a lampshade. And I'm planning also with this one something. This one I'm not sure even though it's like a nice uh, texture but it's maybe too transparent. It's hard to catch on the camera. So if you're planning to save an old lampshade, you'll need to keep the skeleton of the lamp, like the two circles up and down that holds the lamp shading in place. And in my case, it was easier to open the old one, which was already broken, and trace the, the pattern on the plastic, the exact size. What you need is this kind of plastic or if you find in your area something that has already glue on one side so they can be attached easily if not in my case I used uh, glue for textile or I made also a, a trial with some transparent glue that I had in the house and I wasn't sure how, how it will dry but this looks pretty decent after doing my homework on YouTube, obviously, uh, I saw that some people are using spray as glue spray. Using this in the past, I can tell you that it's not that easy to work with. It's easier because it's faster to spread the glue, but in the same time, you have glue everywhere. So if you don't have the opportunity to do it outside, I wouldn't go with that. I don't find that the glue dries transparent. So if you have like a white material like this one, I'm not sure it's the best choice for your project. So enough with the blah blah, let's get into the how I did it. After you have your pattern on the plastic, you're gonna transfer it on the material, but leave extra materials, a few centimeters, in order to be able to fold it over the skeleton of the lamp. You're gonna glue the material on top of the plastic uh, sheet that you have. Make sure that you don't have air bubbles and it's perfectly glued. Then I'm applying the double side tape up and down and I'm starting with the upper part to fold the lamp 
over the skelet and then the lower part. After that you just need to press really well and roll it inside. Try to cut whatever you have left if it's too long the material in order to not have a bulky uh, edge. And don't close the, <clears throat> the lamp until you finish with all the, the edges and do a few trials before you completely close it at the end because you have to overlap it a bit and you have to do a few trials before gluing it. After that it will be very difficult to, to work with it. cutting there a few uh, stripes in order to fold perfectly the material and the double side tape is really really helpful in this uh, step because the glue will not give you the same result like this you don't have to put any <clears throat> support or clips in order to keep the material glued. Here I'm closing the lamp with uh, double side tape as I told you. This step is optional, but I had the uh, bias tape in exact color of the base of the lamp, so I decided to use it. It gives a more polished look, let's say, and I thought it's more interesting with this uh, contrast band. So it took me a few hours. To do it because I got all kind of interruptions from kids, husband, etc. But I succeeded to finish it yesterday and I'm pretty impressed with myself. It looks really good and uh, I hope you like it. I know it's quite intimidating to do something like this, at least it was for me. I always thought it's not doable, but I think you can save a lot of money by you know getting a shade from like a second hand show and you can make it just like new another thing is that if you don't have the old lamp shade i found a very useful uh, site where you can insert your measurements like the base the top and the height of your lamp and it will generate you a pattern that you can download as a PDF and then print it and then you just cut the materials according to the pattern that you yourself generated. So in case you start from the scratch and you have, I don't know, a certain shape in mind, this will help you a lot. So I hope you enjoy your time spent with me today and um, I'm obviously waiting for um, your feedback as always. So I'll see you in the next one because now I'm going to do a lot of lamps, I'm sure of it. And uh, have a great day. Bye.